coach, set. first game Sunday against the minor premiers, big test after the pre-season? Yes, of course. Uh, it's important the starting. Eh? And after this one pre-season, we are hungry. Official game, league game. And uh, just preparing the game, excited for this. And uh, traveling tomorrow and on Sunday we have this. What have you spent the majority of the pre-season working on? Yeah, we did well, but uh, in the end, the league is important. Eh? So you can do a great precision, and after you don't start in a good way. Of course, we start in uh, Brisbane, which is the team that won the league last season, and uh, we have a lot of respect about them. But uh, I think that we can do a good job. The team is ready, everybody is training well, and uh, just looking forward. Just you as a coach this time, are you a bit more nervous this year because everyone, no one knew what to expect, and obviously now. We sort of know, you, I mean, you had a good season, you've changed everything, you led the All-Stars, there's a bit of <coughs> expectation from you. Yeah. Are you a bit more nervous this year, is it? Not nervous, uh, of course, that uh, everybody wants to do well this job, but in the end, uh, important is to be satisfied in yourself. Uh, what I mean, we are working hard, I know uh, we are preparing everything, the players are doing everything, the training. This is the important. After the results are good, of course, it will be good. But if, if for example, we lose or we don't make this expectation, in the end, nothing more we can do because we are training hard, we are doing everything. Always I put uh, this pressure in myself that I want to prepare everything, to have all under control, to bring this to my players, that the players bring his effort 100%. After, it's a game. And Depending something that happened in the game, if you have an injury, if not, uh, a free decision, a, a good action from one player, can change all the game. No? But uh, the important is that you work and you know what you want and you play the way that you want to play, and this is for sure. Everybody knows what inside the team, which is his job. Everybody will run, will fight, because this is the ambition that we have and this is what we put inside the team, and they are ready. They are training very hard today, the training for me was fantastic. Of course, everybody wants to be successful, but the most important for me is the, the job that you are doing. If you arrive at home and you say, hey, I, do, I did everything, I prepare everything, this is your job, no? After this again, but of course they want to, to try to, to be successful, not me, the team. How happy with the style? I know when you came you had a two-year plan, you'd be quite a fair way through. Yeah, yeah, we are, of course, last season we are uh, in the same moment, we are so <laughs> starting. Now everybody knows what we need to do. We have all uh, all under control in terms of style, but after this again, but this is what I explained, no? but yeah, I am satisfied. They are doing an excellent job, the players. I am so so grateful for, for the way that they are working. Are you... Have you settled on how you're going to play against Raw? 3-4-3, 4-3-3, because it looked like you were... Yeah, we have now the decision. Uh, it's for us. We don't want to to show before the start of the game. But in the way, our objective is that with these two... Uh, no styles, because the style is the same. With these two formation, that our aim is that they play one or the other, and, and for them it's easy to change one or the other, just depending the team that you are playing, depending what is happening in the game, depending if you are playing at home, depending if you are playing away, this is the aim. But yeah, last season we just have time for to work 143. This season we put in this 1343. We play few games with 1343. And now the aim is that they know both both formations and they can play one or the other depending what we need. And this is what we want to do this year. Eugene, you're probably in the best position to see how it's all playing out. What sort of um, progression have you made and how good is it looking from the back? Yeah, I think it's been good. I think, um, yeah, like the coach said, last year you know, we, our system was a 4-3-3 and we didn't really change too much from that. Um, now we've got a, a plan B and even a plan C, so things do go wrong in the game. We can, um, the boys know exactly what to do, um, what position they need to go to and uh, we can adapt pretty quickly, so um, it's looking good and uh, you know, not, the, not just that, uh, we were to have a good start to the season and I think we're in better shape as well. So. Um, yeah, there's no excuses uh, this time round, round one, um, we're going to Brisbane to win the game, so very confident. Out of the plans, which one do you prefer, A, B or C? Oh, I think it's that, you know, it all depends on who we play, uh, where we play, um, you know, and 
you know, you've got to take everything into consideration, I think. Um, you know, at home, maybe you'd want to play more of an attacking style defend, uh, away, depending on how you play. You might want to um, you know, see how the game pans out. So, um, but like I said, if it's not working the first five minutes, it's, it's easy to change. The boys know their, their roles and uh, um, you know, we're confident in you know, what we're trying to implement. New faces slotted now, okay, at the back there, Vision? Yeah, no, they've been good. Um, Goody's come in pretty late, but uh, he's picked it up really well. Pablo Sanchez has been here for a while. Jimmy's from the start and uh, Dylan McGowan from the start. So, um, you know, they're all uh, going to be good additions to our squad and uh, they've been looking good. What are you expecting from, uh, I think, Kutusi is going to start as the one here from, in Queensland. Obviously, he's got a massive point to prove because parisha has gone. They're looking for him to be the new Parisha. You're expecting him to, to have, like, you know, the first 15 to be nervy, tense, to test you out? Yeah, we had a, we had a look at him, um, you know, at Highmarsh a few weeks back, and uh, I, think, I think we did really well against them. But, you know, Brisbane over the last four years are a respected team, and they've won, I think, three championships in the last four years, so they're going to be good. It um, doesn't matter who they, you know, who, whoever they're missing. Um, you know, obviously, Brisha and Frenich are two obvious uh, players that are left, but uh, you know, whoever comes in, they're obviously going to be um, you know, in, in a good squad and players around them are going to be good, so they're going to be tough to beat. You want to watch the soccer rules tonight? What time are they playing? One o'clock. I'm going to be sleeping. <laughs> 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 what are your expectations for the year this time, Eugene? Is it uh, obviously you made the finals, but you must be looking for I guess, that top two, which is very important. Yeah, I think the ultimate is uh, I think we're good enough to you know, win the league if Obviously, you know, our injuries, uh, you know, stay away. Um, but it's a long season and, uh, you know, I, I tend to look at it short term and, you know, try to win the first game and, you know, see where we are after nine rounds. But the ultimate uh, prize of this year, the championship. And you talked about making sure you don't have a slow start this year. <laughs> yeah, it's very important. I think, uh, you know, you take away that slow start last year and if we got some results early, the games that were leading, we probably would have been top two. And, uh, you know, that, that's, you know, the start in the A-League is very important because there's not many teams and if you drop a few results or you get a few results, bad results uh, in a row, you know, it can put you behind the uh, eight ball. So, you know, the start's very important. Um, you know, obviously Brisbane away and then two home games. So, um, you know, we don't want to start like we did last year. Just the vanishing spray is going to be introduced. Obviously, you would have worked with it at the World Cup. It's not going to help you, maybe, because people have to stay back the mandatory 10 yards. How do you see that? Oh, I think it's you know it's it's good. It's uh, you know they're obviously trying to stop you know players from creeping uh, forward, and uh, you know for me it's probably not the best, but for you know Cello and uh, our free kick takers, it probably helped them a lot. Joseph, Osama's out uh, with a calf. We're going to see Cassio at all early in the season. I don't know. Now in this moment, uh, he play the the game, a friendly game with us, and uh, he's doing well in his progression, but he's not now in the same level that the team. Not only in physical, that is what the people think, also in tactical. We need to think that he needs for a year that don't play games. And we change a lot of things about the game that, that he was playing and the game that now we are playing. He needs to catch up the group and he's working hard. I am happy with his attitude, I am happy with the work that he's doing, but I can say he will play now early or, or late. Also, we are missing players that are very important. Depending, the coach always wants to put the, the players that are more ready for the game. And uh, he's working hard, and for sure, if he has the same level as the team, he will play. But now, in this moment, uh, for this first week, uh, he's not in the list. Because for this, uh, he needs to, to adapt. Not just physical, but he needs a little bit to improve because for a long time don't don't have this competition. But also and, uh, tactically, we need to take all the stuff that we put in and it's not easy. He needs games, we will bring these games, uh, friendlies. Uh, now next week we will have a friendly. Also maybe he can play one or two games with the youth and after, if he is progressing, he can be in the team. And Eugene, long pre-season mate, it must be, you might, must be itching to get out there. Yeah, this week's been great. I think the boys are excited. Um, it's been a little, little bit different, I suppose. We've had, you know, the FFA Cup, and we have to be ready for those games. So, um, you know, there was something to always look forward to uh, in the last six weeks. Um, but like I said, the last week's been great. Boys are excited. Uh, tonight's the first game, so sit back at home, have some dinner, and uh, watch the first game, and get ready for our game. Did beating Brisbane a couple of weeks back does that mean anything going into Sunday? 
I gave us a lot of confidence, um, but in saying that, um, they missed a lot of good players as well. So um, they're going to be a different <coughs> team, especially at home as well. So um, they get their captain back, Manny Mackay back, and like I said, they're playing at home. They're going to be uh, a different unit. So um, we'll be ready for them. Um, and like I said, we're going there to get three points. Just said, what's the what, what would be an ideal target for you in the first five games in, in terms of win, draws, and losses? Honestly, I don't think in, in this. I don't think that. Five games, how many points we will have? I don't have this this point of view. For me, uh, important to win games. Eh? It's the most important. But uh, I, I don't think the, the league in, in this point. Uh, honestly, even last year, eh? I, I, I am not that coach that I don't know. For me, it's more important the way that we play. Uh, we play well, the results are right. And uh, for me, this is the important. To play and win, playing good football. Are you expecting the intensity to lift this week as opposed to FFA Cup, using touch on it before, is, is it, you know, are we expecting to see the pace increase, the, the intensity? I think that uh, both teams and I play with high intensity. After two more weeks that we can prepare an I league game, of course, the intensity will be very high. Uh, the difference is that now we are playing away and uh, they are playing at home. And Two weeks ago was different. <coughs> Why? Because when you play at home, always you have advantage. Your fans, your home, your stadium, all these things. But uh, honestly, my expectation is that it will be an equal game. And uh, one of the improvement that we need to do this season is to increase the number of points that we get away of our home. I think that last season we did a good, good uh, season at home, but we don't did enough away and this is what we need to improve to to have points to bring win, win this point away to play the same way away that at home to have the same confidence away that at home and this is uh, our target and uh, this is start for this Sunday show this that uh, we are playing the same way at home and away we are ready for to play at home and away and come on we, we are hungry for to win this three points.